America's private space program made another giant leap today. The Falcon Heavy SpaceX rocket blasted off from the launch pad once used for moon missions. And new dreams of astronauts exploring deep space were reignited. Manuel Bohorkas is at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Four, three, two, one. The Falcon Heavy, the most powerful rocket in the world, lifted off and streaked across the sky as it climbed toward outer space. The roar of its 27 engines matched only by the crowd. But the show in the sky wasn't over. The rocket's boosters detached. And minutes later, two of them could be seen descending back to Earth, landing in tandem near the launch site. While the payload, a Tesla Roadster with a dummy named Starman, hurtled away from Earth and toward the orbit of Mars, to the sounds of, what else? David Bowie's Life on Mars. A message on the car circuit board says, made on Earth by humans. The Falcon Heavy combines the power of three rockets into one that can carry bigger satellites and equipment and eventually humans deeper into space. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk spoke about the possibilities with CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. You could actually send people back to the moon with the, with the Falcon Heavy. You could, um, with orbital refueling, send people to Mars. Both goals of the U.S. government and missions Musk is eager to leave his mark on and his brand. We're just um, trying to make uh, space exciting again and try to push the, the frontier um, back, to kind of, back to where it was. But the mission is not over yet. The final phase of the rocket involves firing the engines one more time in order to thrust the car and Starman toward their intended orbit. Jeff? We will be watching. Manuel Bohorkas, thank you very much.